Hi everyone, and welcome back to another part of the Dreamful chapters. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just click continue, which I'm sure it's going to have a big long little intro thing again, or you know, little cutscene or whatever you want to call it. So, but that's what you got to love about this game. <laughs> it's, I just love storytelling games, I really do. Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? Commander, all is well. If you like, I could show I'm you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, oh, your apostle. Alvane. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between the lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvane before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but... We have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadir to and stand. I am telling you to carry out his sentence tonight. What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner. How soon? Well, by first light, at the earliest. But still. First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by first light. Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll As the shadow takes his soul Sleep, child, sleep We shall never part For we will soon be free Together forever In the cold, cold sea Ah, oh, Alvani here. Good. I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approved the menu. There were uh, <clears throat> sausages. Alright, um, let's just... Why would the warden come to visit me now? What could he possibly want? I have nothing to say to him. I won't give him the pleasure of hearing me speak. What good will it do? He wants me to plead. I shall not. We're gonna go with silence. Hmm, quite. You were always a man of few words, Alvani. A rational pragmatist to the end. I approve. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to admit that I'm, I'm curious why after so long there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But, uh, <clears throat> uh, that's not why I'm here, no. 
As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to, um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the, uh, <clears throat> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we've dotted every I and crossed every T. Um... What does it matter? Death is death, and I'm ready to embrace my own. I have nothing more to say to this man, or to anyone. A warrior deserves to die by the blade, but do I deserve that death? I laid down my own sword. I turned on my own people. I was a warrior, but now I'm merely a prisoner. And soon I will be blessedly free of everything. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. Even though I laid down my sword and turned on my people, even though I'm just a prisoner now, I was a warrior. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and be silent. What does it mean? Quite. But then I shall make that choice. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Elvani? My family is very important to me. Almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers. No body to bury. No closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up. To, um, to stop fighting. All right, let's go ahead and... Um... I wish he would just leave. I have nothing more to say to him. I don't care about what he doesn't understand. No one can. No one will ever know why I chose to stop living. How can he understand? How can anyone? To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in. By commanders that you can no longer trust. I'm gonna give this guy the silent treatment just because I feel like that is what I would do. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal and worse, should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. That you will. I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The noose will be ready for you. Alright, so he wants to give us a hanging then. Alright. Get up, Kihan. There isn't much time. Okay. A bloody time. Come on, let's go. What's going no on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. What's going on down there? That boy is a made-to-order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? A swamp city? Precisely. Where I made a daring, swashbuckling last-minute escape, and you were arrested by your own commander. Why did they, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. We will need a key to open this gate. Yeah, he, he kind of just said that. <laughs> All right, well, there's a couple people here. Hey. Hey, help me. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and help him. He looks so young. All right. He looks badly hurt. But he might know how to get out of here. I don't think he'll make it, but if he can, he looks badly. How are you feeling? Can you walk? No. I, 
I've lost too much blood. T <coughs> Take the key from the guard's pocket. Save yourselves. There's nothing more. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. There's nothing. Oh, okay. Must be. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My. <coughs> My family. Tell them. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that. <coughs> My children. Tell them they make me proud. But you, you look like a child yourself. Um, alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and promise him anyway. We can't not promise him. I mean, he's dying after all, so let's go ahead and promise him. I have to. I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Stunt. Arn Stunt. Thank you. Alright, we might not be able to do that, but... You know, at least he could die thinking that we did. You know? Alright. It's a makeshift blade. I've seen how they make them by sharpening stone and spoons against stone. A deadly weapon in the white hands. Alright. Mm, he Just wants kill us me. to kill him. Alright, let's let's go ahead and do it. Please. Please kill me. All right, so we could grant him death or let him live. I before they make him suffer. I cannot lead him to such a gruesome fate. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll kill him. I'll put him out of his misery. Let's have a little look, see what the majority of people done. So yeah, the the majority of people kill did kill him. The gods will. May the goddess ease your journey into the next life. All right, let's see if we can get this key now. It appears to be a gate key. It probably unlocks this first gate. It probably does. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's go ahead and... You made the right choice. Thank you. You still don't have a key, boy. We have different keys for every floor. So you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. Yeah, I'm going up, and I'm ahead of you, so... Just so you know. Growing. Upwards. Moving closer. Ever upwards. We need to keep moving up. Find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. Okay. What is this? I uh, don't know. Alright, let's go. Up, up, up. Um... Okay. Well, I guess um What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, man. And now is your chance of repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? Oh, I think we're too far away from him to hear him. So we just have to, um... Okay, we need to find something to pick the lock. Well, I was just walking anyways because I figured we had to find something, so... Um, yeah. I... that's what I was doing. So we have a broom. Alright, let's go ahead and take that. I don't think a broom's going to do it, though, to be honest. I don't think so. Looks like someone slit his throat. I also... Okay, I... So many barrels. Do they never clean up after themselves? I don't, I don't think that's going to work, either. <laughs> Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! Speaking, Trip. Hello? Anyone there? I'm speaking into a metal tube. I feel foolish. Yeah. Go figure. Alright. I don't know if this is smart going down here. I don't know. 
Someone get the goddamn keys. Hey! Hey you! Open up, goddamn you! No. Alright. Um. We'll get ya. They lack finesse and they're not trained soldiers, but if those guards catch up with us, we won't last long regardless. Alright. So we need to find Where's something. The let's see. Someone get the goddamn keys. I'll need to pick the lock. <laughs> let's try the shiv. Shadow be damned. It broke. The blade worked better as a weapon than a lockpick. Yeah. Okay, let's. Why would we use a broom? Unless you're picking a giant lock. A broom makes a poor pick. It does. Mm hmm. All right. Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! Can't do anything there. Let's go for another little walk around then. See if we missed anything. What is this? Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key. Hmm. Appears so. Alright. So many leaks in this place. Where are we? Where are we? Um. Oh, pillow. Well, we um use one item to combine it with another. Oh, we have a a weird thing. Okay. Um. All right. There he is, up there. Oh gosh. The keep is surrounded by soldiers, mostly Azadi troops, it looks like. Alright. Good bowmen. Yeah. Lucky I dodged their arrows. I see what we've to do. I'm a genius. <laughs> Alright. It's damaged and thin enough to fit in a lock. Yeah. I should be able to open the gate with this. And my thoughts exact moves. Alright, head on back. Can we run? Oh, we can run. Cool. That's that's easier, right? Oh, it appears he's walked on him through. Right, let's go. Pick the lock with the arrow. Hey. All those years on the streets of Sadia paying off. Good job. Follow me. I'm ahead of you. Stop case. telling me to so follow you. Jeez. All right. We're through. All right. We need to stop them. They've broken through to the floor below. He's well. I was going to say he's really slow, but you know, for a guy with um Why? a wooden leg, isn't our old friend, can't really Mr. complain, Mr. can you? I'll say back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. I'm afraid that's uh, quite impossible, Balse. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojo's unclean generals, Warden! Open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Backy. You know very well I do not respond to threats. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. Hey. <laughs> what a weird insult. Why would you May do that? May the be foul, your filthy arsehole, Murren. Let us through right now. I'm afraid now. this is uh, <clears throat> as far as you will get. Okay, well, threatening didn't write, uh, work for that other guy, so we're going to go ahead and reason. Listen. Do you hear that? Your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through, and I shall be lenient and merciful. They won't give you the same consideration. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your <clears throat> promise? I am. Um... He will have to take my word for it. After all, what doesn't the warden claim to be a practical man? If that's the case, he would listen to yeah. a practical Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. Think carefully about this, warden. My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my Gosh, position by taking argument. people at their word. Particularly in a prison. Honesty is in <clears throat> short supply in here. He's, what did he say about family? Yeah, he spoke about his family, didn't he? May he may treasure his office above his blood. But maybe he will listen to reason if I appeal to his sense of family. 
You are a family man, Murray, are you not? Do you wish to see them left fatherless? If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Open up. Hmm. My family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. So give her. She's a good woman, but merely a woman. Very well, you make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Alvani. All right. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Murray. But your day will come. Okay. Oh. You gave me your word, Alvani. Your word? You said I would not be harmed. Mm. You said you would let me live. Does that not count for anything anymore? Okay, I'm gonna let him live. We'll see what majority of people have done. Threw it away at a whim. Me, Are you choosing the majority? All right, well. Simple brute. Yeah. I kill you. I read the He didn't want to kill him just because of the seven percent there. His own people. Look who's who's talking. Who's the traitor here? I am merely an elected official. I do not decide who lives or dies. That's for the. I can. I can't do it. You will receive your just punishment soon enough. At least my punishment. At least my punishment will be at the hands of those who respect laws and regulations, and not a be a barbarian like yourself. Okay, can I, can I kill him now? My man will be here soon. I no longer have any use for him. Like we just spared his life, and he has given us abuse. Like what the heck? That is not okay. <laughs> All right, if I was a barbarian, I would not have killed you. Wait, I would have killed you, <laughs> which I did not. This is as far as the stairwell will take us. Now we need to find a way to the roof. All right, well. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I am their enemy. <laughs> You were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you as soon as we're out of here? Oh, I know. And others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. Alright, well. Can I do anything with this? Because that's like our only way up. Of, of course I can't. All right, well, can you like not walk right in front of me, mister? Seriously? All right, well, I can't do anything with that. All right. Why are you? This passage leads up to the roof, but the gate's twice locked. Oh, okay. There's no getting through. We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work and quick. Yeah, I think I think um it was that other thing, you know, back at the start because yeah. I think it just didn't let me click it because um he wasn't done talking. Oh my god. They're not far behind us. Alright. I keep forgetting we can run. Alright, okay, I can. That chain goes up to the mechanism that raises and lowers the cage. It's covered in thick oil. Um, okay. A piece of cloth. We don't have Moist. much time. With what, I'd rather not know. Where's the key? Someone get the god's damn keys! Right? I draw the line at licking the plate clean. Oh, I'm hungry for red meat. Fire. But I'm not a dog. Okay, um, let's see. The prisoners are revolting! Ha ha! <laughs> Shadow, they're firing at us. Right. Um. Let's see. Can can I? All right. Um. I want to set this on. Where's the key? Someone get the key. Fire. Keys. 
No? It won't catch the flame. Like the wise man of Ozad once said, the moist napkin makes for poor kindling. Of course. All right. Well, we'll take some of this oil here. From a broken arrow and an oiled face towel, I've fashioned a rudimentary illuminant. Illuminant. In other words, I have a torch. A torch. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and light Where's it. Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! There you go. All right. I'm curious to see where this is going. Me too. Let's see. They use this contraption to transport food from the kitchens below. Oh, clever boy. I knew the you were just burning off. Me. Ah, okay. It's still warm, but it's cooling quickly. You first. If that chain's still hot, I want some warning. <laughs> um, thanks. Okay. Let's go. I should be able to climb the chain now. Yeah, cool. Alright. He's got some skill. A one armed guy climbing up a chain. What are we doing here? Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick. Block that gate. Block the gate. Yeah, I am. Um, I can't even, I wouldn't even have been able to climb the, the chain. And no I've got two arms. What? There's a sword over there. Okay. A sharp blade used by the headsman. Pick up the bloody sword. Yeah, give me a minute. No. I don't know if I like him. Okay. How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A ship? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way. Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. It requires blood and pain. It requires a life. What? No. No. I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave or neither. Don't be a mojo, damn fool boy. I have made my peace with the gods. And you say the same. Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you, the resistance will falter, and the Azadi will be victorious. Now run me through with that sword so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. All right, so we can either spare his life or run him through. I think we'll spare it, but we're gonna see what the majority done. The majority How many spared more his deaths life. Before this night is over. No, there's been enough bloodshed. I don't want another life on my conscience. His eyes speak the truth. He has embraced death in a way I never could, where I only saw defeat. He sees victory. I don't know where this path may lead. But what choice do I have? Alright. I'm actually, I think I'm going to just do it. Just because it does make sense what he said there. And yeah, I just want to do something that's in the minority. His eyes speak the truth. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. Goddess, forgive me. Slow and steady, boy. Blood and pain for the portal. I do feel bad now, though. I have only one memory of my mother. She held me to her heart until I fell asleep. That night, she threw herself from the city walls into the shallows. Her body was never found. For the longest time, I would climb those walls, 
balance on the edge and close my eyes. I always thought I would join her in the darkness, in that cold, cold sea. But I never did. So what I think we'll do is we will end this part here. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this. Um, oh, it's the end of the chapter as well, which is pretty cool. So we'll end this here and I will speak to you all soon. Oh, ha. All right. So we'll end this here and I will speak to you all soon. Bye, everyone.